Rice Good tonight. evening. We're here for uh, race tonight of the TF65 Australian Nationals. And as we go to the start, we'd just like to pose a post to Ralph Lutt. 15 seconds. Thank you, Ralph, for the cognac. Ralph on the table, but we want to see the cognac. So let's say we receive it. We will start with all on A plus three. You'll see the breeze is quite blustery coming in for this one. And what you'll notice here is who's won the start there, Mike? Um, I think 750, who delayed his start, has done extremely well and he wanted to get across to the right hand side where there is a big knock. Um, so well done, that's Stephen from uh, New South Wales in 750. Um, and coming across in first place at the moment. He's got a good setup for the heavy weather with fairly flat mainsail, uh, fairly full jib, and uh, his mast is a little bit forward. He's, he's got his mast position around that 955 position, uh, and the boat is well balanced and he's a very experienced heavy weather sailor really sailing a lot on Sydney to Harbour down near the um, Harbour Bridge Oh is that right? Mm. Here we go, almost an incident here we have um, 514 and 750 uh, nearly get hooked up but, um, but looking at that we have so is that Nick that crossed around yes. first? Yes, yeah, Nick's in first Yeah, he did fairly well yeah. and Looking back at the rest of the fleet, it's a bit difficult to see the numbers. So while we can't see the numbers, we'd just like to say thanks again, Ralph. Yeah. Uh, but as we come downwind, we've got uh, 77, that's Grant Loveday from New South Wales. He's currently leading. I had a few good races today, 77. He was doing mm. very well. We've got 82 in the lead, it's the green, followed by 77. The green that's it. Mm. And we have well, I had to take, I 07 I had to take in third, mm -hmm. in fourth place, 514, 750, 329, and here you are, I think that's you Mike, going through there, 52, you're in about sixth, no I don't think so, you're in sixth at this point, reasonably well, so that's crossed around 77, 07, 514, 750, 14 I think, 52, and on the other side we have 114, Andrew Donkin, and 329, Daniel Bergen, yeah. 16, Peter Buchanan, you've stalled it, yeah. you've stalled it on the yeah. bottom mark, yeah. so, uh, and here comes Ralph, 5-2 stall. here's Ralph, 446, yeah. cheers Ralph, 5-2 uh, has done a penalty, that's the mark, and uh, yeah, not looking very good in last place at the moment. But Andrew, 514 has done extremely well. Why did you decide to pick the right hand side of the course out of interest? The main reason was going down to that bottom mark, my sail was on the right hand side, which meant the as going up when the right hand side of the course was favoured. Mm -hmm. And yep. um, also, I like to stay close to my boat. So when, whenever I seem to sail further out, mm. can't see the boat, yeah, it's more difficult to sail. Yeah, so right. there's, a, there's a certain advantage, it might not be a wind advantage, but there's a little bit of an advantage to having your boat closer. There was also, there was also a, an advantage because there was a street right next to us where all this wind was coming out of and it created some lines, pressure lines. So I felt um, those pressure lines were favouring the right hand side. But not going into that top mark there. Mm. 750 is falling a little bit behind there. I thought he started quite well, but um, uh, he went out on the left hand side of the course and that was not the side of the course. So we've got 77 and third. Who's last at the moment? Just out of interest. Uh, it might be five I can see two, 16 I and 5 2. No, you're not last. Yeah. You didn't go to B-Fleet today, did you? No, I don't think so. No. no. Sorry. Third last. Yeah, you've overlaid the mark there, which yeah. you don't normally do, but there is a bit of a knock going into that yeah. one. Here comes 446, which is 446.
So this is Stephen Finlay and Daniel Bergen running downwind. 07 in the distance. Yep. And, and they're sitting in about fourth third. and fifth, I think. Third. Maybe third and fourth. No, 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 no. So got 77, one. got 514, 77. What 77? 77 overtakes 514 here, picks up a little gust yeah. down the inside. Certainly. 514 decides to split and go off to the outside mark as we run up. It looks like 82 is going to win this race, which is a pretty good result yeah. for 82. Oh no, no, 514 has decided to go this, the inside. This was a turning point. So I'm looking pretty good here, look at that. Yeah. This, this actually was a turning point in the series because 5-2 um, ended up um, really at the back end of the fleet and you had to carry that, uh, whereas 8-2. Got telltales on his sails. Not That's everybody right. has telltales. Yes, he, um, eight two. he's got those new telltales. So 77 managed to get bigger. So 82, 77, 514 comes yeah, in third. Coming. Gives up the place. Daniel Bergen, 329, 750. Seven five zero. That is fourth and fifth coming across the line now. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got 14, Phil Burgess. Coming across. And 07, 07 had a good race here. John Wyatt, 36, coming over the line now. John was fast today. 52. Here comes 52. Probably not your best race, Mike, but um, never mind. Coming up now. Here's 114, Andrew Donkin, Peter Buchanan. And bottom we, four. The bottom four go into the oh, Ralph next Luck. group. Cheers. Ralph Luck. Cheers. The bottom four go into the B fleet. Thirty-eight. 